Okay, we're going to start with the nation. State FCT owe federal government 1.72 trillion naira budget support cash. Tenable to decide on Minister Lalong's Senate seat. Africa Development Bank's $1 billion boost to create 500,000 jobs in the agri sector. Jusun disowns Oshun chapter strike over government's row with CJ. Last mile GM Oreagba removed in shakeup. PDP governors confident Lawal Muftang will get justice. Appeal court voids tribunal verdict sacking Sule. Okay, which story are we starting with? Major headline. Major headline. Uh, according to the Minister for Finance, um, Wali Edu, they would no longer be doing the BSF, the budget support funds for states. He said at um, yesterday's um, meeting that the states owe the federal government about 1.7 trillion naira, a total of um, that amount as outstanding liabilities on the budget support facility that the government past administration gave to states across the board. And they have to stop it at this time because now there's increase in the revenue that comes to the uh, FAC now. And also um, the economic realities now cannot support them continuing it with it. So the Enugu State Deputy Governor, um, who spoke to reporters, said the um, minister had mentioned that each state owe about 50 billion each, you know, as um, part of the funds that they they have been owing. So this was discussed at the National Economic Council meeting yesterday, um, chaired by the vice president. And they continue to um, look at all the alternatives where states can now have generate their own funds. They opted to allocate a portion of funds from the federal account to settle some of these outstanding liabilities and bring closure to that program. I hope that the states will sit up. We were talking about states the other day and how they are spending large, large, big, big. Mm. We should be spending realistically, cutting quotes according to size and power. Thanks. According to their clock. Even yesterday, the vet went for the small, small food that they gave us. I said, they are on a budget. They cannot <laughs> be giving big, big food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even parties, a whole, a whole 80th birthday and the mm -hmm. death. That was small a celebration. Mm -hmm. They didn't even do parade. From church, carry your gun and go. Exactly. Everybody go. I was like, hey, we are hey. all on the budget. Like, we are celebrating life. Like, I we are celebrating life. <laughs> <laughs> so the National Economic Council on Thursday, that was yesterday, announced plans to uh, at least um, to channel $1.52 billion donor funds into 36 special agro-industrial processing zones across the nation. And their aim is to create over 18.1 million jobs, including 100,000 farmers nationwide. They said the first phase had started already, which now runs in Kano, Kaduna, Kwara, Ogun, Oyo, Imo, Cross River State, as well as the FCT. And that will go up over $520 million and is set to conclude by 2028. They said 26 states also have expressed interest in joining the phase two of the program where they will be spending one billion funding from the Africa Development Bank and other partners also will channel money into that. And the state will begin documentation for the second phase next year, 2024. So the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Abubakar Kiari, was the one who revealed this to House correspondents after the conclusion of the 137th National Economic Council meeting, which was uh, presided by Vice President Kash uh, Kashim Shetima at the Asorok yesterday. And he said the funds were earlier pledges by the African Development Bank, the Islamic Development Bank, and the International Fund for Agricultural Development. And they voted one billion US dollars to deliver in 24 states. And um, this is already going on. So it's a good one for uh, people in the agricultural sector now that money is coming in to ensure that there are jobs that are provided for everyone. They are also are going to be planning the processing so that, especially for states that have decided to pick up, uh, I think um, Kano um, had keyed into uh, producing a lot of tomatoes. And we know that there's a, usually a lot of wastage when it comes to perishable mm -hmm. goods because they are not able to preserve it. So they are going to be focusing more on the preservation, preservation. Amazing. of our tomatoes so that we don't waste a lot. It's that a good one, yeah. Well done. Well yeah, done, government. Because sometimes, well done, like, like when government. you're driving through Benue State, you know that a lot of orange is there. The wastage you oh. just see is oh. sad. Yeah. We should have... Um, mm. uh, this is something we should look at. I have a story. Um, so in Ogun State, they say the construction of bus stations for the takeoff of the compressed natural gas mass transit along the lagos Ibadan Express axis will begin very soon. They said the stations are to be sited in Mowe, Ibafo, Areko, and Bega axis of the 
Expressway. And the Commissioner for Transportation, Dairo Ulubenga, was the one that was talking, you know, he, he was at a, a program in Ogun City and was talking about it. He said, the construction will commence in earnest as a necessary implementation, uh, as necessary implementation frameworks are being put in place. And then he urged people to support the state government um, by enabling the co um, construction of the activity. I would like to read, quote what he said, because you know I was quite proud of it. He says, I want to use this medium to plead to our people for their support, as this is another integral development geared towards easing the movement <coughs> of people and goods in Ogun State, which will serve as respite to environmental pollution by reducing emissions and promoting a clean and safer environment in the state. I just love the level of conversations we're having now and what we're yeah. providing. So good transportation as well as keeping our environment clean in, and safe. The areas closest to Lagos, Arikbo and mm. others. So I guess they, it was very strategic for that. Yeah. Okay, so the Judiciary Staff Union, Jusun, has dissociated itself from the ongoing protests and strike by some members um, of, uh, of, against the embattled Chief Judge Justice Oyebola Ojo, suspended by Governor Adeliki. Um, Jusun leadership described the picketing by judicial workers as a means to settle political score. According to them, he said, Joseon is a responsible union, has never and would never take any perceived or real partisan position in all its activities with any individual or organization. Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria has never directed or approved that any of its members should proceed on any protest or picketing in Oshun State Judiciary or any other state to settle any perceived or real political scores. This is really important for them to come out to say that. Okay, the punch. And then PCL ends fuel imports December 2024. Says on uh, projects 4.5 um, projects 4.5 trillion naira revenue. That was really good. I really can't believe that story. Mm -hmm. Federal government states plan 18 million agri jobs, 1.5 billion dollar funds. Government to fish out prison waters aiding Boko Haram. Tinubu assents built on local military equipment production. Uh, Undo police arrest housemaid son over killing of boss. Cash crunch worsens food spending drops by three trillion, and NEF decorates twelve combat pilots vow tough times for terrorists. Okay, which story? Okay, so I have the Tinubu sense on bill on local military equipment. So um, the chairman of the House Representatives Committee on Defense, Baba Jimmy Benson, had sponsored the bill, the titled the Defense Industry Corporation of Nigeria Act 2023, and it's been it's become an act now. It's been signed by the president into mm. law was a bill at the time. This bill, of course, creates, um, gives power to the Nigerian Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria to operate, maintain, control subsidiaries and ordnance factories to manufacture, store, and dispose of ordnance and ancillary stores and materials. So, we produce our own weapons in, in our own Nigerian English. And um, I love the fact that they emphasize on storage. The act also provides how um, fi uh, financing would be generated, how private uh, businesses can also come into it, and also um, how research. So they created, the bill also established Defense Industry Technology Research and Development Institute to enable scientific research-based technology foundation for Nigerian defense industry. Right. So I hope that this holistic bill would... Um, uh, empower house. It's all sounding good on paper. Just mm. Sounds Sounds really good. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue with our reviews. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 